let's uh, have an unboxing. And the dragster, all those projects are kind of blurring into one because we're just trying to get it done. So there's no real cut and dry projects. It's just going to be, I got this done and I got that done. And this is what's needed to get the next project done. So let's have a little unboxing. This is, this came from Amazon. Wow, that's great. <laughs> they didn't have to pay for much packing, that's for sure. It's empty. Anyway, this is a wire crimper. Huh, not much directions there. I guess we try it. And 240. So 10, there's no spot for 10. All right, something I've always found confusing was wire gauges. For example, what wire gauge is that? And it says on the side of it, 1-0. So what is 1-0 or 1-0? Well, it turns out that wire gauges go 1 to 12 or higher than that. And one is thick and 12 gets thinner and 14 is thinner and 16 is thinner than that. I've been using all 12 to wire the dragster, probably could have gotten by with 16. But now I need the new battery cables. And actually what I'm gonna use is welding cable because welding cable has very fine strands on it and electricity is carried on the surface of the metal, it's not carried through the metal. So the more surface area they have, the better it conducts. So fine stranded wire is a good thing. So this is what they call one-aught cable. And then two slash zero is two-aught cable, and three slash zero is three-aught cable. And eight, zero, is thicker than one and two zero is thicker than two and three zero is thicker than two zero. And then they have it by diameter area. So one knot is, has a diameter of 0.3249 inches. So, but what's important is how you fasten the cables. You know, there's a bunch of ways to do it. I've seen you stick the cable in and hit it with a hammer, which actually isn't all that bad. I've seen where you take a vice grip and you heat the cup up and you fill it full of solder and then you stick the wire in it. And that might sound like a good way to do it, but what you're ending up with is a cold solder joint. The wire's not hot. As soon as the solder hits it, it's cold. So crimping is actually the best way to go. And that's what this is. This is a crimper. And this is supposed to crimp anywhere from 2-0 to 120 or 150. And what I found is, is that with welding cable and it being real fine stranded cable, it compresses more than what 1-0 would. So if we do a test on this, on 1-0 and it end slips off, it's not because the tool's bad, it's because the wire compresses more. So let's try it. Let's strip the end of this. And you want to do this without cutting any of the copper. You can kind of feel it when it goes through. Now let's try that, see what we got. Okay, so we got, not, we didn't get any copper out, there's no copper left. So and no copper strands came off, so that's a good cut. That's a good cut. And that will go on that very nicely, just like that. Now what we want to do is crimp that. 
So what we got to do is find zero odd. And that's 35. So I wonder what they mean by 35. They're not really giving you any. This is what they're giving me. And what they're giving me, I guess you just got to guess. Well, I've got no idea. Gonna have to do some research. I'll be back. So I think I, I figured out what they're doing. The numbers they have impressed in the side of the dice. There's a number there. That one's 70. That represents this area in millimeter squared. So if I look at zero aught, I come across and I have a 53.47 millimeter squared. And the closest I have is a 50 millimeter. So that should be a little tighter than what's needed for the single aught. So let's see what happens. Let's try it. So that's 18, I'll put 50 in there. Okay, let's put this cable in here. There we go. And slide that on there. Oh, uh, well, they're not far enough on. All right. I need to go down until it won't go anymore. And let's see what we got. Well, that's nicely crimped. It's not where I wanted it. Let's see if we can pull it off. <laughs> I pulled all the insulation off, but it can't pull the copper off. <clears throat> yep, we can. So, let's go down one size more. That was kind of a poor crimp. I didn't have it in the right spot. Let's try it again. This is the last one I have. Let's stick this on there. Like that. as tight as that's going to go. Let's see if it comes off. Nope, I'd say that's good. I can pull the insulation, but I can't pull it out. So much for that. So I pulled the insulation back. but I couldn't pull the stud off the copper. So it works. Good deal. So now we'll have to make some battery cables for the dragster. We'll just keep this in the box.